Guys, this is Charlie from Adventures with Charlie, and welcome to the review cycle and the start of the review cycles, DreamWorks Month, aka the month of both the studio that tries to be Disney. Oh, so I just came up with that joke, and I thought it was great to use in this video. Anyway, anyway, moving on. With Trolls 2 coming out, out on Monday to, to digital, I thought we have a look. Hold on. At the first Trolls to see if it's any good. Trolls is a is about Poppy. P, a happy a happy a happy troll or who is next to none to be the, the ruler the, of Troll Village. Lidge. She decides to celebrate a party because it was 20 years af after the sh her da dad, Poppy, P had, had, had helped them escape from the bargains that want to eat trolls to, so they, that they can be happy. E Branch, a polar opposite, a grumpy trolls, Poppy, P to tell them that having a party isn't a good idea because the bargains might be coming. I mean, all the other times Branch has been wrong, but this time he was right. As a bargain named Chef, who was now an outcast of Bergen Town, wants to capture all the bar the trolls so she can be welcomed back in back into Bergen Town and they can have their holiday day where they eat trolls called Trollstice. With Frances' help, Poppy must go save Ave the troll, all from Bergen Town. Ow, ow. So, so this is one of if not the most colourful movie I've seen. I'll, I'll get more into that when I talk about the animation, but, but let's just talk about the movie itself out for the moment but based based on the good luck trolls also in the late 1990s is is it was it was a really interesting po project and risky for dream dreamwork to do a movie based based on the line of toys i mean even when you think about it I think it's the first time, but the, I, I think they don't want to be as similar to another movie based on the toy line, Lego Movie. Anyway, let's just let's just say that that DreamWorks that made a really good movie. That's all I can say. Okay, so let's start the characters in. The characters are pretty, 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 pretty like, like some the characters you can expect in a movie like like this. This is a simple way to put them. Put them. They they're in, they're enjoyable. But Poppy is the ha ha happy troll who went, who who are always in a good, good mood. Branch is the grumpy troll who helps Poppy get. At the bug and get the trolls from Bergen Town. Ow. Ow. The the other trolls. Owls have. Owls like. Biggie, E. Cooper. Look at Smitch. It's. Now get captured. Creek Creek is the the positive troll. Cloud guys the comic relief. If Bridget is is definitely one of the more interesting characters, as she she had has a crush of the King of Troll Old Village Gristle, so who who all he ever wants is to be happy. And then there's Chef, the villain of the feature. Uh, she wants wants to make sure that all bargains are happy when they eat trolls. Out of all the characters, Chef is definitely the weakest one. 
and I don't care much for her because uh, she's not she doesn't try to be relatable but unlike the other characters from on the movie it like I put I put in ranch and if in fact apart from um, Crystal and Bridget the Bergens are the weakest characters in this movie they do not offer much but, and that is very disappointing and, and this film has some hap and but to make the audience happy this movie has songs yes it's right it takes pop tunes and sh and well mm, okay I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. I like the songs. Um, some some of the some of the versions they do for them, like I like everybody. Do you move your feet, guys? It's a sunshine day. A a true color. Liz and hello are are interesting, but. Well, uh, well, um, which are the ones that fit the pl plot, or not like, get back up again, then I just the uh, as for the characters can they have their emotive song. Um. Now, not all songs in this movie are bad. I mean, in, in this one introduced them one of the catchiest songs. Which is can't stop the feeling when I can see what you need in. So got carried away. Which is a really good catchy catchy such a catchy song. Um that you can that can easily get stuck in your brain. Which is a big problem with songs. Songs like those. They get stuck in your brain for years and years and years. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go on to the story. Wait, I never, I never, Dreamers never seems to do the freshest stories. Wait, some of them are stories we've heard before. I can't believe I'm saying this. But this is one of the fresher to DreamWorks stories. Wait, we've heard before. Yep, I said it. Did somebody punch me in the face? Thank you. Anyway. Let's get on to who our true our true our true story. Well, it does have some similarities to other stories, like two polar opposites getting along, or a villain who wants to be ruler, and some other other things. But the way they do it is pretty fresh. They do it unlike her any other movie, which is really unique and makes the twists more exciting and engaging. There is more to talk about the story, but I don't, don't want to get into spoiler territory. First, but now let's take a look at the best part of this movie, the animation. It's colourful, or highly creative, if the designs are really unique, he can look different from the good natural, which everyone's glad because they would be, they no one would want to see if it was like, well, you know, the creep, those creepy good luck trolls, like, <laughs> that. So, anyway. Are also some nice and fresh, as with creative designs, and 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 the animation and visuals really working the music numbers. But so overall, oh, it's good and great. Is it one of DreamWorks' best movies? It's not. It's well. It's not abominable. Uh, abominable, but. It's still a really good DreamWorks movie. He, we nonetheless. 
I hope I said that right. Anyway, a Trolls is one of DreamWorks' more funny and happy kids movies, which it's, anyone can actually enjoy. It does have its problems with, with the wheat bug and giving them songs, songs that don't have no point, but it does make up for it with some, some enjoyable characters, creative animation, and a nicely told story. It definitely isn't one of, of DreamWorks and DreamWorks masterpieces, but I think, but on its own, it is a really good DreamWorks movie. I would recommend this more for little kids, though, because, let's be honest, they enjoy this stuff. Uh, everyone else can have a good time with it, but up, I don't expect much. I when and when all you've got in, in it's just it's just having trolls based off a toy line. Right, it isn't one of DreamWorks better movie, best movies. Well, no, but it is one of their better ones in the 2010 decade, and that is why the, tr the trolls will be singing happily about then about that good old 9 out of 10 N. N. so what am I going to do for the next episode of the old of, of Dream, Dream of Swim and the Rory Circle well, well when you have a dream you really want it well you well you Trolls was for kids. Be the All I'm just gonna say about the, our next one is that it, it involves a really silly superhero. See, see you later, folks.